uh, every time there is a new Drupal release, I try to present what's new. Unfortunately, this was a hard one because there's barely anything new visually in Drupal 9. I'll try to make it as compact as possible, but also there is actually a lot of things under the hood. So I'll, I'll also try to um, talk about what's there. So about me, uh, I'm Vladimir, based in Brisbane. I'm software consultant, and uh, I talk a lot about those four things, which is GitLab, Drupal, Bootstrap, and Docker. So today we're going to talk about uh, what, Drup what is Drupal 9? Why do we need it? Do we need it at all? Maybe we should stick all to Drupal 8. Uh, we'll talk about core modules, if there are any updates there, um, some theme API updates, dependencies, and video translations. So Drupal 7 um, was supported by a community. The support was announced originally until the quarter 4, 2021. Uh, there was a big, uh, I guess, decision on the behalf of the contributors to actually extend it to quarter four, 2022. Uh, there is a bit of a discussion online. I'm not going to go into there for this particular presentation, but it's, I guess, good and bad. I mean, apart from core, we have contributed modules and a bunch of other stuff. But anyway, it's a good news for people using Drupal uh, that we actually have uh, official support until uh, December 2022. So, and if you look, uh, the COVID landscape kind of changed the uh, where all the CMS was sitting. We really had strong top three sitting there for a number of years, so WordPress, Joomla, and Drupal. And uh, as you can see, and if you've been following, this is the stats from um, what CMS website. Uh, Drupal actually this year gave away two spots, uh, leaving, uh, getting uh, Shopify and Wixen, proprietary, uh, proprietary web, uh, cloud-based CMSs, which is quite interesting. And you can see Shopify nearly hit Joomla and will about to knock it from number two. So obviously a lot of commerce websites went online, start selling stuff in. And uh, I was talking about Wix as well. Why would people choose Wix over? some other uh, CMSs, so you can find this presentation. But you can see the l landscape is changing. So, and, uh, but also it's um, good news for Drupal because we can actually see the adoption rate. And I've been clicking every week for the last four weeks. The adoption of Drupal 9 is quite significant. We are in, what, fifth week of release of Drupal 9. We already have 0.015% of websites are moving to Drupal 9. This is just... Uh, talking uh, from the perspective of the brand new uh, software just being released. So why do we need Drupal 9? Uh, at all, we could have, a lot of people were saying we should have stick with um, um, Drupal 8 maybe and keep going like that. Uh, so Drupal now relies on Symfony uh, framework PHP framework a lot, and the Symfony 3 end of life is quarter for 2020. So it was decided to release uh, first long-term support Drupal 8.9 release and support it until uh, uh, first quarter of 2021. And Drupal 8, as you, you understand, relies on Symfony 3. So, uh, and then do the same with uh, Drupal 9. So release uh, the Drupal uh, 9.0 was released uh, last month, and then do it every six months or so. And actually sync, so Drupal 9.0 was moved a bit to just sync it with the Symfony releases so we can actually get up-to-date Symfony releases inside Drupal core. So obviously, uh, we can predict the Symphony 4 end of life uh, would hit about quarter 2022. I don't think it was still announced, uh, but we can predict. So we, we can do the same thing and can support uh, security updates and bug fixes for Drupal 9 until quarter 4, 2023, and keep going like that with the ongoing releases. So this is the idea behind Drupal uh, 
release numbers so we're not sitting on the same number but it will also kind of sync in with the software we're depending on like symphony and um, as far as releases go you can see uh drupal 8.8.8 was released uh, on 18th of june it was security update but 8.8.7 was released uh, on 4th of june same day as 8.9 and 9.0 uh, so there is six months uh, left where Drupal 8.8 .8 going to be supported. So Drupal 8.9 again was released on the 4th of June at the same date, but there were already a couple of releases there. And Drupal 9 again was released on the 4th of June, but uh, one security update and one bug fix update was updated. As you can see, the software moves quite quickly and uh, there is a bunch of updates there. So that's all um, about deprecation process. So for example, in Drupal 8.7, right, we would have a new feature and then there was some API that would be deprecated because it's no longer suits uh, what it was put there for. Um, and we keep releasing Drupal. So we would release 8.8 .8 and then 8.9 with a bit more new features, a bit more deprecated features. But it still, again, uh, depends on Symphony 3. So what Drupal 9 is, is actually updated dependency on the bottom, keeping all the features that were put in 8.7 and 8. Point, basically in all the version and minus the deprecated code. So theoretically, 8.9 and 9.0, they're the same apart from the dependencies and the deprecated code. And it's not just Symfony dependencies, it's uh, all other dependencies that we're gonna talk about in just a second. And again, Drupal 8 code that are, is not using deprecated API will continue to work on Drupal 9, that's the idea. So if you have a module, it's quite easy to update. There is a talk by Gaber and he gives it pretty much on every conference, the state of Drupal 9. I'll put a link in the end, but please check it out. He'll talk more about in depth how to make sure your code from Drupal 8 would um, um, stay relevant and work on Drupal 9. So now, uh, just go a bit in depth what actually changed. Usually I stop presentation here and do a demo. I can't do it now because there's literally like two changes I found visually that I can show. So, and um, I'll, I'll just do the screenshots. So the first one is, if you quickly cannot point it out here, what's different? It's actually all about removal this time, again, because we remove a lot of stuff. So the first thing is the testing module is gone. <laughs> so the reason it's gone, it's not gone, it actually was moved to contrib module. And it's uh, all because uh, Drupal 9 no longer use simple test. So core no longer runs any simple test code and tests now should be written using PHP unit. Another thing that is gone is uh, migrate multilingual. Now actually became stable. That was the hardest migration module to move. Again, it took pretty much the whole Drupal 8 release to move it to stable version, but now it disappeared from experimental modules. And uh, yep, so you can see it on the left, it's Drupal 8.8. .8. On the right is Drupal 9. And it's no longer there. Okay. And, uh, hmm. oh, sorry, wrong way. Okay, so yep, so this one was removed. And again, you won't see it in um, Drupal 9. And the last thing that was removed uh, is a place block mo modules. And you couldn't actually see it because it was already hidden since Drupal 8.6. Uh, it was deprecated in 8.8 .8 and uh, removed in uh, 9. I haven't used this module before, so I have no idea what it does. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, yeah, so logically it would place blocks but how it would be different from uh, custom blocks and blocks UI? Um, that's a good question. If anyone can answer it in the end, that would be appreciated. 
Okay, so uh, updates to the themes. Again, uh, from now on, a lot of updates are pretty much uh, kind of developers, uh, updates for developers. So there's a lot of under the hood changes. So the first thing is a stable nine base theme. So there's a new base theme called um, stable nine. Uh, there was a stable in Drupal 8, and again, you couldn't see it. You cannot just go and enable it. It was more like a placeholder or interface for a lot of other themes like um, Bartik or 7 to use it. So it kind of enabled um, a lot of um, templates and CSS provided specifically as a baseline. So stable 9 kind of improves on stable. Um, it has backwards compatible markup and assets. Uh, updated templates and CSS are included there. Drupal stable is still shipped with Drupal 9, but will be deprecated. It, it's not deprecated yet. It will be deprecated and removed in Drupal 10. That's the plan. So now when you go and enable something like Clara, which is an admin theme, you can see on the left again, Drupal 8.8, .8, it would say, you must enable classy stable to install Clara. There is no such message in Drupal 9, which is on the right hand side. So just say uh, Clara is still experimental. And um, yep, are you happy to use experimental theme? Another big update for theming API is that all the themes that are included in Drupal core, like Bartik, Clara, Seven, and Umami, are no longer dependable on Classy or Stable. So now they have in their code they have set base theme false. So the idea is to either overwrite templates or inherit templates directly from the core. Uh, but in the release notes, still extending classy or stable nine template uh, theme is still recommended for your custom theme. So if I run Booster for theme, uh, I was extending classy, I would still be doing that. Uh, another visual, second visual thing I found is uh, on the left hand side, you can see there was a block with a title home uh, on uh, Umami theme, which is. Uh, example Drupal usage, ship, which ships with Drupal, and it's a recipe magazine. So there was like a mini bug, which they displayed the block theme called home that was that was uh, removed. Well, at least I found some visual changes. And I can show you a beautiful cake and uh, brownies. OK, so let's talk about dependencies. Again, Drupal 8 was big on bringing a lot of dependencies in Symfony Tweak, jQuery, jQuery UI, and CK Editor. So what's happening with them in Drupal 9? So first one, the baseline for Symfony is updated from 3.4 to 4.4. That's a big step. I think current latest version is 5.2 from Symfony. But yeah, so Drupal 9 will be using 4.4, so getting closer to the latest uh, Symfony release. And again, Twig, uh, there was optional Twig update to 2.0. Twig is a template engine we use now in Drupal. So now it would be actually updated fully to 2.12, getting again one of the uh, closer to the latest versions of Twig. What's the latest Twig? Also, two point something. Thank you. So, Composer, uh, I'm not sure if a lot of people know, uh, Composer is actually shipped with Drupal as well. So, it actually downloaded as a dependency, now updated with Drupal 9 from 1.10 to 1.10.5. There is um, Composer 2 is not too far away. Composer is a dependency manager, so downloaded all the Symfony dependencies and other we were talking about. That's what we're using Composer for. But if you download in Drupal from uh, Drupal.org, the Composer dependency will be still included. So you can use it even if you, if you want to use Composer <laughs> to download Drupal. OK, jQuery. jQuery was updated from 3.4 to 3.5. Uh, 
Uh, one of them was actually a security release uh, for all versions of Drupal, including 7. jQuery is a framework, a JavaScript framework for front end, one of the most popular ones. So jQuery UI, that's an interesting one. So most of the jQuery UI components were deprecated in Drupal 8.8 .8 and were removed in Drupal 9.0. So, but there's a lot of contrib modules, especially big modules like Webform and sort of web, um, Webform modules that do rely on uh, uh, jQuery UI. So if you install Drupal 9 and update the form to version six, you'll see it will download three or four jQuery UI modules. So a lot of those components will actually move to the module. So if you worry about it, if you're really, really dependent on jQuery UI component, uh, they're still available as modules. It just decision was made that I think jQuery UI was deprecated or most of the components were deprecated. So the decision was made to deprecate it as well and try to rely on other JavaScript uh, libraries. CK Editor, uh, again, the decision was made not to move with Drupal 9 to CK Editor 5. There are issues at the moment to actually update to CK Editor 5, but if you didn't follow CK Editor, CK Editor 5 is major release. It basically completes rewrite of the editor and how it works. So uh, at this case, I think there was an agreement with the actual CK Editor team to keep the security fixes for CK Editor 4 going until the end of 2023 to keep, again, Drupal secure from the front-end perspective as well. A couple more updates. Um, jQuery cookie library replaced with JS cookie. Normalized CSS updated from version 3 to version 8. And popper JS library updated to version 2. So again, if you haven't used those libraries, you probably shouldn't care about them. But if you're using them somewhere in your custom modules, especially, you need to know uh, that these updates actually would for if you update to Drupal 9, it would force you to update the version of those libraries. So Node.js. Node.js is the development dependency. Again, to run Drupal, you don't need it to run Drupal, but if you're developing for Drupal, developing for Drupal core, um, stuff like post CSS there now, uh, the minimal version was updated from version 8.11 to version 12, uh, which is good. Current version is version number 13, I think. 14, 13, I think it's still. so. Every even version is a LTS, long-term support version. So uh, Drupal moved to the latest uh, LTS of Node.js. And the last bit about the updates is a translation. So Gaber tweeted about a month ago. So the German and Ukrainian team, translation team actually made it to 100%, but there is about other six teams, so Norwegian, Dutch, French, Hungarian, Russian, and Spanish are above 90. So it's good to see such an adoption for a multilingual uh, transla for translation. So, and if you speak any other language, I would recommend you to go to localizedrupal.org and try to update a couple of, uh, even a couple of lines would do the trick. Uh, so, yeah. So in summary, Chris said at the last keynote he did for DrupalCon that the big deal is about Drupal 9 is there should not be a big deal about Drupal 9. Theoretically, it's just an update, and that's the best thing about Drupal. So from now on, it's just going to be uh, an update. So unless you're using something that relies on deprecated code, you should be able to just upgrade to Drupal 9 and go. Uh, upgraded uh, Tomato Elephant Studio and Drupal came by and by websites last week, uh, literally under under two hours. I just, the most of the time I spent is removing modules that I installed as an experiment and didn't need them really. So I removed about six modules. 
uh, they weren't enabled, so that was easy. I just needed to find them, and then that was it. So the update was very, very easy. And the first release with the new features would be Drupal 9.1, and it's scheduled at the moment for 2nd of December 2020, and this is going to be a feature-packed release. We expect uh, Clara as a admin theme go stable, and we expect Oliveira to go into the core as a main front end theme, replacing the Bartik. And there's going to be a lot of other stuff as well, so that's quite exciting. And I really want to thank uh, Jess, who is doing pretty much all the releases uh, and all the release notes for Drupal. So I used a lot of her notes for this presentation. And Gaber, uh, who is also a release manager for uh, Drupal core, and uh, his slides, he open sourced his slides, State of Drupal 9. He will be presenting them at DrupalCon Global but you can find the recorded presentation from previous conferences as well. So I used a lot of his stuff to talk about how we're releasing Drupal and uh, how it works. So the links are there for you. Um, I'll post them online. And are there any questions? So the, you, you mentioned that the uh, classy theme is going to be deprecated. Is that going to be replaced by Drupal core? Or is the idea that that moves into contrib themes instead? Yeah, I don't think classy is deprecated. It is still, uh, as I mentioned before, it's still they still recommend you to inherit if you're using theme. So classy and stable nine are still there. It's just that the core themes are no longer inherit them. So Bartik, uh, Umami, uh, Seven, and uh, Clara. Um, not inheriting from Classy as such, but Classy is still there, and it's not deprecated. Okay. It will be a stable, will be deprecated in 9 and removed, but there is stable 9. Perfect. Thanks. Cool. Um, hey, Vova. Hi, Rookie. Yeah, I have a question for you. Um, yeah, I heard uh, the JavaScript is going to be rewritten in ES6 in Drupal 9. Do you know anything about it? Is it already converted? Or? So the question is, uh, yeah, is the JavaScript going to ES6? Yes, it is. So the core, uh, the core moved completely to ES6. So every JavaScript file has an ES6 alternative. That's why there is a Node.js dependency. And I think all, all CSS moved to post CSS. Yeah, all CSS moved to post CSS. Uh, as well, so that's that's um, that's already there. Cool, nice, thank you. Yeah, I, I'm. I was stuck in Drupal Seven world for years and uh, just trying to catch up with Drupal Eight. And I have a Drupal Seven Drupal Commerce website that I want to upgrade to Drupal Eight. Should I even uh, consider Drupal Nine, or which which version would you recommend to start with? Yeah, my question would always, uh, my answer would always be Drupal 9. I know the guys, there was two contributed weekends, and the second uh, on the second one, uh, the guys from Centara, which is ex uh, Drupal Commerce or Commerce guys, uh, they uh, were porting most of the modules to Drupal 9. Uh, even if you start with Drupal 9, there would be some something outdated. You can always help to update it. And uh, yeah, uh, but I think the majority of Drupal commerce is already on Drupal 9, or should be Drupal 9 compatible. There's a good stats about the, uh, how many modules were migrated. And this is a, unprecedented for Drupal because we are, again, one month, five weeks into release. And I think like 90% of top 300 modules were already updated to Drupal 9. So definitely Drupal 9. Again, the idea of this presentation is to show there is not much difference apart from deprecation stuff. So in a lot of cases, it's going to be custom code that actually is an issue. Or the module that was um, so, so someone dropped support for the module for some reason, you know, time uh, or something else. 
no longer interested in development. I personally reach out to quite a few contributors and help them to release Drupal 9 modules. Again, it's not an official, it's not an official kind of goal to move, to push people to do that, but you can always reach out and say, hey, do you need help with that? Uh, but again, a lot of modules are already there, uh, including web forums, which is in alpha version, but yeah, it's already usable in Drupal 9. So if you are starting a new project right now, I don't think you should be even considering Drupal 8 because uh, yeah, we're on LTS release. So basically all the new features would go into Drupal 9. Uh, just a note on that one. I'm building a Drupal Commerce website at the moment, and I'm sure that Drupal Commerce itself is, it says 9 ready on it. I'm using 8.9, but definitely like most of the modules for Drupal Commerce say that they're, they're ready for 9 already. Yeah, they had the nice. they had the list somewhere. If you if you, I think it was Dave Glamon from the top of my head. Uh, he has he had a list uh, spreadsheet of all modules for Drupal Commerce that they were try that they were looking after and trying to update to Drupal nine. That was more than a month ago, so y you should be able to find it. And uh, yeah, 